from your local election headquarters. This is Big Country Politics on KTAB. All right, welcome back to Big Country Politics. Doug Peters with the Chamber of Commerce joining us. We talked about downtown Abilene in our last segment. Now there's a lot of development happening over on I-20. It just Chris. keeps going. McGavick Nissan is over there. The movie theater, all, it all started with Walmart being over there and all the other uh, little satellite stores going there. Right. Talk, talk about that development. I mean, because for a long time, the development has been on the south side. Uh, when every other community, the, the development is, is along the corridor, I-20. Absolutely. It's happening now for Abilene. It is, and let me, let me make two important distinctions. Okay. Number one, the chamber is not downtown centric, so we're yeah. working in all corners of our community every day. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, the second distinction is the south side's still booming, which is really that's great true. news. Yeah. Uh, so a community that's able to you know have that sort of balanced approach, where not one part of our community is outgrowing another, and you have areas being neglected, is really a, a, a great testament to how strong our economy is and the uh, the strength of the businesses that that are here. Um, but we are seeing great growth on the northeast side, and much of that is because we're seeing um, residential growth on the the northeast side. Uh, retail traditionally follows rooftops, and if you talk to a retail developer, they're going to look at demographics, uh, and they're going to determine where the you know location, location, location is that's best going to support what they're they're trying to do. So. Uh, we're seeing a lot of growth out in that area uh, because we're seeing people moving out into that area. And I think that that's a great, um, a great testament to the fact that uh, this community is smart in how it grows. Uh, we don't just extend infrastructure uh, on the back of the ta taxpayer uh, for the sake of extending infrastructure. Everything that is done in this community is done in a very smart, conservative, uh, and very thoughtful way. So. Um, again, hats off to the city of Abilene. They're they're you know they're planning. They're doing great things so that this community can continue to prosper. And I think you said you said extending that infrastructure. I think that's something that a lot of people, uh, including myself, did, didn't think about. I mean, you have to not only build the building, but you got to extend oh, yeah. that infrastructure out there. That's got to go through city council and all that. It does, and that's one of the reasons why downtown is so important. The infrastructure is there, yeah. uh, and uh, it's a cost-effective way of growing your community from the inside out. Um, but uh, you know. Having this development out along I-20 is a great thing for Abilene. We have not always presented our best face uh, to those traveling uh, across Interstate 20. And uh, to put fresh investment out there tells people there's more to Abilene than what meets the eye. And I am, am, am really beginning to see people venture off of the interstate, find their way into our community and spend their money uh, in lots of different places, which is what this 110-year-old Chamber of Commerce has done, uh, is really focus on giving uh, you know, our merchants here in this community an opportunity to pick the pockets of people that, uh, that, that come here. Uh, so we'll continue to do, to do that. You mentioned uh, being able to talk to some retailers, talk about demographics. You mentioned the merchants. Look, you, you get to have conversations like that, right? Every day. Tell us about the demographics. What are you hearing from those retailers? Just uh, out of curiosity. I mean, you know, uh, Abilene is a very well-balanced community. We have a, a very strong industrial base, thanks in large part to the oil and gas industry that's been here for so long. Uh, we have a, a booming agriculture side uh, that we look out for uh, in a government affairs kind of way uh, to ensure, you know, working with Jody Arrington and uh, others in Washington to ensure that we have um, uh, you know, the, the, the farm bill position to support cotton growers and cattle ranchers and all those things that are produced here. We're a community of makers and people uh, in the business community uh, are really beginning to sort of um, capitalize on the fact that Abilene is not considered uh, a, a quiet West Texas outpost anymore. It's, uh, it's seen as a place where you can do things, you can make money, you can be successful, you can be young and still get engaged in this community at a level where you can be successful. Young people in, in other markets, uh, Dallas, let's take for, for an example, um, it's, it's rare for a 30-year-old to be able to serve on the board of the United Way. In Abilene, Texas, you can be the chair of the board of the United Way or the Chamber of Commerce or any other long-standing institution that is trying to help create a better community. So uh, merchants in this community, I think, are uh, in large part very much optimistic about uh, 
where we are today, where this community is going. Uh, and that doesn't mean we don't have our challenges, just like the rest of the country. You know, we continue to work every day on workforce challenges. 3.2% unemployment uh, and uh, 1,400 plus uh, active job openings in this community. Wow. It's tough. Uh, so for us to be able to attract large investment, to diversify our tax base, that means that we really have to focus on the product that is Abilene, Texas, so that people want to live here, they want to work here, and they want to invest here. Well, and that's, we have just a couple of minutes left. We, I wanted to ask you, your last question here, there's a big concentration on expanding our workforce uh, right now in right. Abilene, TSTC, uh, Cisco Junior College, uh, there's a new campus out by the, by the airport. Right. Uh, very important in attracting new business over here. Absolutely. What that tells uh, potential investors, uh, those who are in the site selection business, those people that are looking for a place to expand their company, is that Abilene, Texas takes their workforce and the skill level of available workforce very seriously. And that's a that's a tremendous benefit. And uh, when we sit down, you know, the chamber has for years uh, operated the Abilene Industrial Foundation. Mm -hmm. uh, and that is this community's industrial marketing arm. Uh, and uh, when we go out and talk to companies, they want to know about the workforce situation. Yeah. The United States, it's it's all you know, retiring baby boomers uh, are leaving in, in record numbers uh, and leaving a vacuum. So we have to be at the top of our game and we can tell those folks looking for a site, we're working on it. We have made tremendous progress, but it's a lot like housework. You think you're finished and you're just starting all over again. That's right. Doug Peters with the Abilene Chamber of Commerce. I feel like we never have enough time on the show for Let's you, take more time. Yeah, I wish we could, but <laughs> we're going to have you back on the show because there's a lot so. more to talk to you about. There is. All right. Thank you very thank much you. Good to for see joining you. us again. All right. We'll be back on Big Country Politics. <laughs>